And of course for the Buddha to be, this was a very powerful thing because he realized, I have to leave the homeless life. I have to seek for a solution to this problem. I cannot go on attaching myself to all these things when I know that they will all be pulled away from me, dragged away, and I'm going to feel the sorrow and the pain later on. Now is the time to find the solution. So that was one of the thoughts the Buddha had. Another thought that he had at this time, which also is quite interesting in my opinion, is that when the Buddha thought about leaving the home life, he said to himself, well, I am subject to old age, I am subject to illness, to death, I will die one day, I am subject to birth, it means he already had the idea of rebirth, obviously, I'm subject to birth, I'm subject to sorrow, I'm subject to defilement. Why should I go seeking other things which are subject to all these things? Why should I seek other people, uh, material things, which also die eventually and wear away uh, and also subject to defilement? Uh, why should I seek these things? Surely it is appropriate that if I am subject to these things, I should seek that which is not subject to these things. Uh, I should seek that which is without death, uh, that which is without old age, suffering, uh, birth, uh, defilement, sorrow, uh, and illness. That is what I should be seeking. Yeah. That is what the Buddha thought. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the important thing of this statement, first of all, again, the, this is the last life of the Buddha to be t getting very close to his awakening now, and still he is still very much a person like us. He talks about himself, uh, I'm subject to defilement. Uh, well, th what he means by that is mental defilements, right? Anger, uh, desires, uh, just like everybody else. Uh, I'm subject to sorrow. Uh, he still has sorrows in his life because he attaches to, to things and he has to let go. So again, you see the common humanity there with the Buddha in his very last life, the Buddha-to-be, I should say again, in his very last life, the common humanity with all the rest of us.